Has this ever happened to you? Hello everyone, my name is Danny and I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. Problem, If you have ever had it, well, you probably had because you're not using Sony Vegas for nothing, you know. So if you have this problem, uh, it doesn't it doesn't mean that your computer sucks or it's low on memory or whatever. The, the problem is, the issue here is that Sony Vegas doesn't want you to it doesn't want the application to go over two gigabytes of of RAM usage because uh, it doesn't want to um, overuse uh, overheat your computer or overuse your RAM whatever. So we, what we are going to do is we are going to force the computer and Sony Vegas to use as much memory as it as it, as it wants in order to finish the rendering, no matter how much RAM it uses. Usually, when you render a really complicated video, it should go over a little bit over four gigabytes with uh, the necessary background applications going. So, what you need to do is install the program, download and install the program. I am linking you in the to in the description. Just install it. It's safe. It's okay. It and it really works. And uh, you know how to install a program, right? I'm going to show you that. So if you install this program, which is called CF Explorer, just right click on it whether, whenever you have it, wherever you have it, and right click on it and open it as an ad administrator. That's really important. You need to run it as administrator. And go to file, go to open, and then fi uh, find a file where your Sony Vegas Pro is uh, is installed in program files um, somewhere I don't know depends on your taste usually you know okay so uh, you have uh, a little icon here called Vegas one oh sorry this is just because I have the 10 version anyway it's uh, it's just the icon which uh, the application which uh, opens Vegas and so click on it and uh, click on open uh, go to file header and click here and here you have this box which will be unchecked app can handle over two gigabytes of address space and you need to check it uh, it will be unchecked for you you need to check it and click on OK and click on save it will ask you whether or not you want to override the existing file so just go go for overwriting it and then and then close the application. Uh, what I need to stress out here, though, that it might not work for everyone. It really depends on how powerful your computer is. Because if you if you have four gigabytes of RAM in your computer, and and the project you are trying to render really needs over four gigabytes of RAM, which happens because you have in Windows computers you have a lot of background applications which just run all the time and they take up your memory as well. So I would suggest you really need at least six gigabytes of RAM and then you shall have no problems whatsoever with rendering again. However, if you really want to assure that your rendering will be as smooth as possible and as fast as possible and will have no and you will have no problems whatsoever. Also you can go to these settings in Sony Vegas to options, preferences and here, when you have where you have video, um, here you should have s some number depending on the computer. I had automatically 64 there, and here I had four. So if you set this to zero and you set this to one, you click to apply. Okay. Now this video, uh, the video will render as quickly as possible. And but there's one thing: if you have in tools, you cannot build dynamic RAM preview. So when you are done, just go to options again, go to preferences video, and set it again to some some megabytes, and this set this again to four. When you are editing, when you are rendering, just do it as I just showed you, and you shall have no problems whatsoever with rendering again. Um, uh, but again, it depends on your computer really. Now, uh, the problems shall not occur if you have if your computer has over six gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so yeah, I hope this uh, this tutorial helped you. Uh, if you have some questions, problems, anything, just ask me in the comments. I'm going to get to you eventually because I'm I'm lazy sometimes.
and busy. Okay, well, I hope this <laughs> I hope this video helped you, and see you guys with another tutorial. <laughs> Bye.